I'm joined by Banco Pastor's Deputy General Manager, Susana Quintas Veloso. Susana, thank you so much for coming here. There's so much concern still regarding the Spanish banking sector. Mm -hmm. Do you feel that with these tests and the, with this additional requirement, mm -hmm. actually the international community can sleep better at night? Well, I think so. Actually, I think it's a 10% core tier one is a, it's quite a good core for non-listed banks and 8% from our side. Uh, Banco Pastor has 8.5%. It has always been a strategic issue for us to reinforce capital. And in our new strategic plan, we also plan to reinforce it organically to get to over 9.5% by 2013. So. The that should be comfortable for investors. And especially, I mean, you don't have any funding problems. Banco Pastor no. doesn't have any funding problems. But the bank has given a lot of your banks about 15 days to come up with certain papers. Is that too short a time? Would you be concerned if, you know, because it's just two weeks effectively? Well, basically, from our point of view, I mean, we just have 4% of our funding maturing in, in this year, in 2011. So this makes us feel comfortable. But it's true that it's a lot of funding, institutional funding maturities in the financial, Spanish financial institutions. So maybe it can be a little bit short. Now, the, the, the current landscape present opportunities for Banco yeah, Pastor, sure. for example. Mm -hmm. Would you be looking at buying some of the weaker cajas? Well, basically, we think that we are about the, to see one of in a lifetime um, opportunity. Yeah. So we are considering it very seriously uh, and the three conditions. Uh, one of them, of course, is that we keep uh, the controlling interest. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, the second one is that it doesn't deteriorate our ratio significantly and that it's viable. Mm -hmm. So it makes sense. But we are studying it very seriously. And this would be to be funded how? through just a, a, a swap or an well, all right takeover? Um, really, it's too soon to, to know because this is so recent. It's only been two weeks that we know that the whole sector will be restructuring, so it's too soon. But I think we have to find a way, you know, to make things look um, accruing for the invest for the shareholder, mm -hmm. which is our interest, of course. Susan Quinto, is there at this moment in time? I know it's early, but is there a cajas that looks of better value than than something else? Have you already identified some of the better opportunities? Um, yes, but I cannot be specific with the names because you know you have to kiss many frogs before you find your handsome prince. And <laughs> <laughs> That's a great analogy. <laughs> How many banks will there be in in four or five years? in Spain if I, if I speak how many to you banks I don't think banks will be very much affected I mean the core of the restructuring has taken place in the cajas they used to be 45 uh, now there's 17 and probably they will be reduced into half or merged mm -hmm. with banks or becoming banks and and do you think that in the next year all of these problems will be left behind when can Spain actually start rebuilding itself well, I think Spain has done impressive uh, reforms in the last six months and mm -hmm. I think that the market should start looking at this apparently the Cajas problem will be solved by September and you know all these changes in regulation for employment also the pension reform um, I think they're very important for Spain and then there's this political unrest in Egypt and the Mediterranean because can be really good for Spain for tourism, but also for the real estate mm -hmm. to of recover. Of course, because people will decide to go to Spain yeah, exactly. instead of some of the countries affected by the unrest. Mm -hmm. Are you concerned at all that you are on the acquisition trail, but will yeah. you yourself become an acquisition target because Banco Pastor is quite small? Yes, but I don't think it has to do with size. It has to do with your financial ratios. And we have the second best core tier one, the best liquidity among peers, and something that is quite differential and outstanding. We've done our homework for the crisis. 100% of our MPLs are covered by 2010. So this means that in 2011, we just have to provision for new entries. So again, you can just come out of this crisis on your own without even a strategic alliance or a partner? Will, I think we will become a lot stronger. Susanna Quintus, what's your, your biggest concern for this year? Well, biggest concern, obviously, is net interest margin because um, apparently the war of deposits is, you know, slowing down. It's very good news. We've seen that. But because of all these maturities in the funding markets, if funding markets do not reopen, it can impact again the cost of the deposit. So it would affect net interest. That's our main concern. Susana Quintas, thank you so much. Great to have an inside view of what's happening in Spain. Much.